on Christmas morning after opening your gifts. Why would anyone in his right mind think I would want this? They thought must run through thousands of brains behind forced smiles. That's because as human beings, our default mode regarded to others is biased toward our own perspective. We can call it self-centered perception. In the book, Human, the science behind what makes us unique, Dr. Michael Gasnick says that we understand and predict the behaviors and mental status of others by imagining we were in their situations. We use our knowledge as default base to understand others. As always, please correct my English as a way to help me and other English learners, and I'll put a Chinese briefing at the end of the video to help people to learn Mandarin. This self-centered perception can easily lead to errors in our social life. For example, when you come over to my party, although you indicate you like broccoli with a smile and dislike cookies with a disgusted face. However, I might find your choice of broccoli is distinctively odd myself. So I might overrule the evidence of your facial expression while in favor of my own more sensible preference. So I will give you a cookie anyway. One ability we human take for granted is the ability we can distinguish between others and ourselves. That's self-awareness, which means we have the ability for perspective thinking. For social success, we needed to separate us from others. For example, a friend didn't call me back right away. Hmm, I might be thinking, oh, he should have called me by now. He must not care about me. So I'm thinking of this from my own perspective. So. From my friend's perspective, my friend didn't call. Maybe he forgot his cell phone. Maybe he is on a business trip to China. Well, the time difference is so crazy that he's exhausted. So that's his perspective. In order to separate us from others, one need the mental flexibility to flick back and forth from perspectives. This is easy to say, but it's very hard to do, especially for people who are egocentric. The reason is because in order to do that, we needed to inhibit our own perspective to take others' perspective. So, if one has difficulty doing that, basically, it's a failure of suppressing our own perspective. But how can we improve ourselves? Start from watching ourselves, watching our behaviors, our thoughts. This is very important in self-growth. Another thing in Christmas season is that. Since families are getting together, so there might be some family dramas going on. So one thing might happen, which is arguments. So there is something you might be interested to know about our brain. Our brain is like a machine for winning arguments, not for choose finder. So by the time any arguing starts, the work has already been done. The brain will use anything you can think of to persuade the other to a viewpoint. The brain is like a good lawyer, just want to win. As human beings, if we were real rational creatures, then at some point we should wonder at the probability of always being right. So, if you barely or never question yourself about that, maybe you're not as rational as you think. This is a very interesting book about ourselves. There are so many things we don't know about ourselves, our privileges to be a human being. So, I will put a link below if you're interested in reading this book. Also, I'd like to share with you my backup present idea. Sometimes when I cannot come up with better idea, here is what I do: I bring people those environmental friendly detergents. For example, for this laundry detergents, the main ingredient is soda. And for this, this is for dishwashing. We can see the fragrance is zero and is biodegradable. So there will be always residue on our dishes, on our clothes. So the harm to us is minimized. Also, I find my friends are very happy to got them because people like to use healthy products. Sometimes they are just reluctant to spend time on researching. So I save their time for them. I'll put a link below, and for the complete Chinese version of this video, you can go to my other channel, Si Wei Gai Bei Ming Yun. 
And if you find value in my channel, subscribe if you haven't. And I'm going to do the Chinese briefing of this video now. 大家好，当我们在过生日或者是过圣诞节啊，接到别人礼物的时候啊，我们有时候对那个礼物非常的失望。我们打开之后就会想，他怎么可能会想到我会喜欢这样的礼物呢？虽然我们的脸上还在强带笑容，那是因为哈。我们的人类的大脑在处理哈，我们和别人之间交往的时候，我们的大脑默认的这个模式就是想从我们自己身上的这个角度来考虑问题。这本书的作者告诉我们说，当我们哈想去理解或者是预测别人的行为或者他们的思维方式的时候，我们所默认的方法呢，就是我们假设自己处在他们的那种状况，然后呢，利用我们本身拥有的知识啊来做分析和判断。这个会对我们的社交有所影响的。比如说，你的朋友到你的家里开派对的时候啊，虽然他的脸上的笑容，他看见那个西兰花，他很高兴，表示他喜欢吃，但是呢，他不喜欢吃曲奇饼。但是我们会觉得他的选择非常的，呃，和我们不一样啊，觉得很怪。我们还会，呃，不顾他的这个表达方式，给他曲奇饼。我们人类拥有一个大家都想当然的，嗯，没有珍惜的一个能力，就是叫做自我感知能力。这个自我感知就是把自己和别人区别开了。这种能力让我们能够换位思考，就是从不同的角度来考虑一个问题。比如说，当我们的朋友不给我们及时回电话的时候，我们自己就会想，嗯，他应该现在就给我回电话了，他肯定是不拿我当回事儿。这是从我们自己的角度来考虑这个问题的。但是我们的朋友他可能忘带手机了，也可能他出差到了国外了，这个时差还没有倒过来啊。所以他不能够及时回电话，这就是从他的角度来看待这个问题。所以要想成功的社交，大脑要学会灵活转换，也就是说我们平时说的换位思考。这个说起来很容易，做起来很难。为什么呢？因为我们必须要抑制自己考虑问题的这个角度，然后才能转换到别人的角度去考虑问题。如果我们想练习的话，最开始的步骤就是开始学会有意识。看自己是怎么行动的，是怎么说话，是怎么思考的。也就是说，观察自己，呃，用用运用自己的意识这个能力。还有一件事情就是，大家在一起的时候啊，开聚会的时候啊，或者是全家在一起的时候啊，有时候会不免有一些摩擦，有些争论。嗯、呃，有一个事情也非常有意思，就是我们大脑对于任何争论，它就像一个机器一样，它追求的是去赢，而不是去找到事情的真相。也就是说，你一张嘴那一刹那的时候，那个结论已经定了，因为你就是认为你自己是对的，所以就会千方百计地找各种各样的证据和理由来支持自己的观点，来说服对方。也就是说，大脑就像一个非常棒的律师一样，他只管赢，别的都是不在乎的。所以，如果哈说我们人类真的是理性的这个生物的话，那么我们就应该有的时候偶尔会停下来问一下自己：说我真的总是对的吗？所以说，如果一个人哈，你觉得你总是对的，这个时候就说明你没有真正的用理性的思考方式来思考你的人生。最后呢，想跟大家分享的就是，如果我没有更好的想法了，说给别人带什么更好的礼物啊，我就会用这些个啊作为我的备用。呃，因为这个都是非常环保的。呃，这个是比如说是洗碗的啊，这个是洗衣服的啊，因为他们我们都知道会有残留物啊，他们对身体啊的。健康危害都是最小的，对环境污染也是最小的。比如说像这个吧，哈，这个是洗衣服的，它的主要的产品是苏打，啊、呃，然后呢，像这个呢，嗯、呃，它这里面哈，我们看到啊，它里面香味剂的含量是零，然后呢，它的环境里都是可以降解的。我会把这些个产品的链接啊，都放在这个视频的下面。如果你觉得我的视频对你有价值，还没有订阅的，欢迎你订阅，跟朋友分享，给我点赞，咱们下次见。